Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, so we are talking about a port based on OnePlus 6T that is OxygenOS stable for the Pocophone F1. Now this is the latest stable, 9.0.15, I believe. And uh, the best part here is that face unlock is directly working. The fingerprint wake up issue has been fixed. So we will install this particular ROM. We will have a look at the installation process because that can be tricky for such ports. And then we will have a quick preview and we will check out if it is usable as a daily driver or not. Now, before we do all of that, if you haven't already, Please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, guys, so welcome to another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at the latest Oxygen OS port based on the OnePlus 6T for the Pocophone F1. This is a stable version 9.0.15, if I'm not wrong. And the recovery that we will be using is Skyhawk recovery. You can use TWRP as well. Now, first things first, you need to make sure that all your data is backed up because if you lose any data, nobody would be responsible. You need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a TWRP or a Skyhop custom recovery installed and four files need to be copied to your phone's internal memory or SD card. That is the vendor firmware. That is the latest one of your choice. Then the vendor patch. We have to flash this every time we flash Oxygen OS and then a DFE that is to avoid encryption and the ROM file. Of course, we don't need Google apps because they are pre included. You will also need a fifth file that is the Google Play Services APK. You can keep that in your phone's internal memory so that we can install it after the first boot is complete. Now, once we are booted up into recovery, first thing that we will do is go to wipe then go to advanced wipe. We will select Dalvik cache system data. We won't be wiping internal storage and hit the tick mark. Wipe selected partitions, yes. Now once that is done, we will go to wipe again and we will perform a wipe. Factory reset. That is done. Now we will go to flash and first we will flash the vendor of our choice that is the 9.6.24 then add another zip that is the vendor patch then add another zip that is disable force encryption and add another zip that is the oneplus 60 stable rom and flash all these four files together now this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. All right, so as we see here, everything has been flashed. So select the tick mark and then we will just go to reboot and we will reboot to system. There you go. Now the first boot will take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. At the most, it will take five minutes because this is a Snapdragon 845 powered device. So please be very, very patient while that happens. And you see the OnePlus logo. I'll wait for it to boot and then I will show you around. All right, so we have booted into the ROM. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to File Manager and we need to install Google Play Services. Now, remember, this is the very first thing you need to do. Otherwise, you will not be able to sign into Play Store and you will have all sorts of problems. So the link for this is linked in the description. And you can also just Google the latest uh, Google Play Services APK and download and install it. All right, so before we dive in, let's quickly have a look at what the developer has to say. Changelog is initial build based on stable 9.0.5. Auto face unlock by default. Fingerprint on display off is fixed. And these are the flashing instructions, which I have, of course, showed you. And uh, it does say that after booting completes, install Google Play services, go to. So that is something different. We can just install the Google Play services. And this is the setup which we can do later. So all in all, if we have a look over here, say if we go to settings and if we go to about phone, it does say CPU is a Snapdragon 845. 
build number is 9.0.15 which is a really really good thing let's quickly go to utilities over here and you do have the oneplus lab which does include smart boost you do have a gaming mode network boost and all the other things so the, of course this is not based on beta so it doesn't have the fanatic gaming mode now let's quickly have a look at the screen recorder do we have the screen recorder yes we do so that is a good thing although you don't have fanatic gaming mode you do have screen recorder now, apart from this uh, if we go to say display and change the theme over here the theme is there let's see if ambient display and lift up display are working there you have it ambient display is working just fine all right so i was playing around with this build and uh, let me tell you the fingerprint over here when the screen is off works fine now when he does say face direct auto unlock is available that doesn't mean that you can use the native face unlock don't touch this face unlock section over here you will have to go to smart unlock and then you will have to set up your trusted face which of course still works with your eyes closed but but what this means is the moment you turn the screen on it will directly detect your face and unlock you to the home screen just like a oneplus device would so all in all the first impressions of this rom are very very nice because the google play services are working i'm not yet tested uh, you know the complete gaming experience and everything that maybe after a week i will release because i am traveling for the next seven days or so but the oneplus camera as well is working for basic functions portrait mode and stuff is not available but that's fine you can always install anx camera you can always install google camera the notch padding is fixed over here so that is not a problem and as always this oxygen os based rom is a very very smooth customer it's a very very smooth rom and I'm really, really happy that they are continuing to develop this particular ROM. So the links are mentioned in the description. The Portorama group, which I am a part of, is mentioned in the description. Go ahead and join that Telegram group. We have more than 2,000 members and you can get a lot of help re related to this port if you wish to go ahead and use it. Now, let me know in the comment section, how did you like this video? And there are a lot of videos coming in the next seven days, although I am traveling, but the videos will keep coming. So please guys, it's a humble request. Hit like on each and every video that you see and it will be a great help to me. It doesn't cost you anything. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.